What's up cousins? We got another build here for my good friend Jake from Tennessee, man. He drove down from Nashville. Brought my 1436 John boat. Just walked through the process with Anthony here, designed the layout, talked about customization options from hatches to carpet to all sorts of different things that he can do that I was never going to be able to do. Very excited to see how this turns out. It's been a great afternoon here and uh, looking forward to seeing the product. Hey, dude, we're going to crank it out. What's up guys, Anthony Jones here with Brigade Boats and in today's video I wanted to introduce you guys to a new project that a customer dropped off. It's a 1436 and I'm going to be doing a full build on it inside and out. So number one, introduce you to the project, but number two I wanted to show you guys my thinking process behind the scenes of how I'm actually going to lay this boat out and design it from day one. So stick around guys and I'll show you how I do it. This video is probably not going to set the YouTube world on fire because the majority of the video I'm going to be talking and pointing my finger showing you how I intend to do something in the future. But if you're just now starting your project or looking at doing a project, I hope this video can give you some useful information and help you out. Number one, thank you to Jake for dropping this thing off at a sandblaster and getting all the paint work prep done before he brought it to me. A lot of the things I'm going to be doing to this boat when I build it out will be transferable over to a 1448 or even a 16 foot boat guys. A lot of this stuff is universal and this boat in particular 1436 is actually what the Top Gun John boat is. So I'm especially fond of, a, of this size of a boat but the 1448 no doubt the most popular size out there. Let's talk about the condition. Of course uh, the transom is good in this thing. Super super solid. I'm actually really impressed. This guy got this boat for 800 bucks man with the trailer. Of course he took it and had it sandblasted. I like the design of this thing it is just really really solid it looks to be in great shape um, supposedly no leaks I am going to water test it and uh, make sure there's no leaks before we get into paint but beyond that man this thing is good to go so what I'm gonna do is go over kind of the overall project goals and then I'm gonna come back and individually do a walkthrough of each section and what I plan to do um, it, it's a meet in the middle because this is not my boat it's a customer's boat so he's giving me items that he wants and then left me some leeway of how to incorporate said items into the build this old tin can is getting fully decked and we're going to bring the deck past the middle bench and we're going to go to uh to this rib here we're going to have a cockpit that's going to be a three foot cockpit and then we're going to deck the back do a recessed trolling motor tray trolling motor mount some storage compartments up front i'll get into the design in a minute electronics we're going to do a live well more of a budget friendly live well option and then of course we want to run the batteries in the back um, with the trolling motor up front for weight distribution because he is a trolling motor only guy he's not going to run any outboard on here he's a pond hopper full paint live well Enclose the rear deck, cockpit, full electronics. This is more economical than a lot of the crazy bass boat stuff that you're going to see me do on some future builds. Um, so some of this is DIY friendly. So, uh, you know, obviously stay tuned with this project when it debuts. But uh, beyond that, man, let's get into some of the designs of uh, what I intend to do. This is my drawing I did when Jake dropped the boat off. And as you can see up front, we're going to run a tray, recessed tray, seat pedestal, hatch. We need to be about 15 inches from the back of the tray to the center of the pedestal. Um, we're going to run a hatch behind that for storage. So he's going to be able to access this whole front area and stuff, life jackets, you know, anything miscellaneous. Where the middle bench is, we're going to turn that into two hatches. He wants a divider, um, do tackle or, or whatnots. And, um, now, this isn't to scale or anything, but uh, I envision the hatch probably going to right about here, flipping up that way, flipping up that way. Where we're going to extend the deck over past that middle bench to that second rib marked by the X, we're going to add a hatch there. We're going to frame it across and um, tie everything together, add a hatch. He's going to have his cockpit area. In the back where the existing um, rear bench is, we're going to add the live well. And then in the middle, we're going to have a big, bigger hatch that's going to be two Two foot, I'm envisioning 24 inches to 30 inch wide hatch to do the two batteries in the back um, for the 24 volt trolling motor and then two small side hatches. Very similar to the Top Guns layout um, for miscellaneous tackle or whatnot. And that's the overall design of this project. As you get into the build, if you got to make some minor changes or tweak some things when you get into it, that may be necessary, but for now, this is our overall game plan. You know, in Anthony Jones fashion, it's probably not going to be so simple. All right, let's start with the front deck layout. Guys, what I'm going to be doing through all the framing in this boat is using 1 16th 
aluminum, an inch and a half on an inch and a half. It's all going to be riveted together with my Milwaukee rivet gun. And um, it's going to be a hybrid boat. Reason being, customer wanted to save some money. So we're going to do half inch marine ply as the decking. I'm going to coat the tops in fiberglass resin and then wrap in carpet. So we're going to have carpeted decking with plywood hatches as opposed to going with it's custom boats and accessories. Aluminum hatches just to save some money. All aluminum framing throughout, wood decking, hybrid setup. Um, and then that gives the customer the option, if he keeps this boat really, really long term, he could always pull the ply and then drop back in hatches and do sheet aluminum because the aluminum frame will already be there in advance for him. So that's what we're going to do on this one. Save some money so he could spend it elsewhere. What's he going to be spending some money on? Well, we're going to do a Nate's Custom Boats and Accessories! Drop in recessed foot pedal tray up front. It's probably going to sit right about in here. I think we had it right about in here. Could be wrong because we're going to do a seat pedestal and I think it was going to go over this rib. And then we're going to do the hatch here. And then obviously for the trolling motor up front, we're also going to go with a it's custom boats and accessories front mount trolling motor mount. And that's going to sit right about in here. You are able to actually mount this to your boat, trim the excess so it's a universal fit, and then these adjustable brackets underneath mount to your decking and you could raise or lower it and bolt it all together. It's really cool. Probably do an install video on this to show you how it's done. These and the trolling motor um, recess tray are available on tinyboatnation.net, link down in the bottom, and use the code BRIGADE to save 5% off your order. Now that I got my plug out of the way, we're going to move on to this way. We're going to cut this bench, we're going to gut it, and we're going to turn it into a hatch. Um, we're going to frame off of the bench, we're going to tie into this rib, and we're going to have a hatch here. Um, actually, we're going to have a hatch here, and we're going to have two hatches here, the divider in the middle. So one, two, three, four hatches in the front deck of this boat. It's going to get basic electrical lights inside. Um, of course, I'm going to do like a, some sort of a flooring with some carpet. You know, simple, um, nothing crazy, but super clean and, and nice and professional. That leads us to the cockpit. Same deal. We're going to do foam. I'm not a big pour foam guy, guys, because uh, I just don't want to do pour foam in something that somebody may not want long term. The um, inch foam, half inch, quarter inch, whatever, gluing it all together and sticking it in our floor system and letting it float in there and then decking over it seemed to work great on my last boat. So, and it's also budget friendly. So, we're going to do it on this one. I am going to come off the sides and do some sort of sides in the cockpit and we're going to do electrical. Let's go ahead and move on to the rear because the cockpit is uh, very simple. The rear is going to be a little bit more complex some of the things that are going to go in this boat and uh, a lot of that's going in the rear but 14 gauge wire anchor marine marine grade i got 250 foot of it for some upcoming projects available on tinyboatnation.net that's where i got this from and uh, a lot of this stuff's available on tinyboatnation.net but i also have amazon so i got some of this stuff from amazon um, kind of show you what i got that's going in this boat this would be the live well recirc pump and we've got the actual live well fill pump that's going to mount to the transom and i'll explain in a second where that's going to go we've got your 800 gallon um, per hour bilge pump that's going to go in the back um, fuse box got a bunch of bilge hose and uh, a fitting um, for the back i think this is just like stainless yeah stainless screws miscellaneous another wire strainer that's going to go on that in the back and then um I got a 90 degree. I figure I might use this somewhere. Maybe not. Variable live oil timer. I think that's going to make the magic on the live oil, which is the flow right pump out aerator combo. If you don't know about this, the easiest way I can explain it is this. This is like a lifesaver and changes the whole game with your DIY live oil. Well, um, this enables you through this um, setup to run recirc pull it out and it actually changes the valve and then it does your pump out so that's all that's doing and it's uh super awesome so anyhow that's that let's talk about this back out of the entire build this is kind of the area where we get really tight for space what i mean by that is we're going to try to fit a small hatch over here to hold tackle same deal over there small hatch on that side to hold tackle probably going to come out to right about in here and right about in here um, I'm going to be able to fit two batteries. I'm going to run one just as you see it. And for my framing, I'm going to build me a wall straight down. Okay, same thing over there. And then I'm going to have to run another battery on this other side. I want to stay clear of your drain. And then I also got to keep in mind I need to have room for my live well through. So what we're going to do is actually, I've kind of got that battery in the wrong spot. We're going to go flush on both sides with the battery, flush to this, flush to this, all right, and create a hatch. And then frame down, hatch. Frame down, hatch. Live well through. Actually, I'm sorry. Live well through. Live well pump will fill, will sit here. 
bilge pump will sit over here and then we're just gonna have to plumb things beyond that we're also going to squeeze an onboard charger we're going to do a three bank because what i forgot to tell you is this is going to be a 24 volt setup with two batteries but also going to run a 12 volt battery um, probably in that very very first hatch just making sure we could fit the two batteries fit the bilge pump the live well fill and then all the plumbing and then he'll have access to everything um, back here and uh, I think it's gonna work, man. I have everything in hand before I start any of the framing. As you can see, I already have um, almost everything in hand. There's a couple other items I'm waiting on and I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do for the live well tub yet. But, uh, but yeah, man, so this thing is gonna go to paint. I'm actually gonna frame it a different way so I don't have to go through the hole. And I'll, I'll, I'll share that with you guys when I do it. Um, and then cut the benches, gut the foam and, uh, and start working on it, man. But I'm super excited. Okay guys, that's pretty much it as far as I could think of really to explain to you what I'm going to be doing in this boat and um, what's going to go in it and kind of how I'm designing it. Um, showed you the drawing and kind of sh shared with you as best as I can um, with pointing a finger at how I'm actually going to do it. So thank you guys for bearing with me. I hope this video is of some use to you guys. And if you enjoyed watching me point my finger and talk about boat builds and how I'm actually going to do something in the future um for this entirety of the video then uh leave a comment down below and say hey man we love hearing you talk for that long and if you absolutely hated it and hate the concept of this walkthrough and me sharing with you the intentions of the build let me know that too because i'm open to suggestions guys this channel is equally yours as much as it is mine and uh, we're trying to grow man so y'all keep me posted with what you think about this and stick around for the build i'm probably going to do a couple little videos on it but uh definitely going to do a really good walkthrough video on this boat but we got to get it done and get it out of here um so this guy can go fish so thanks for sticking around guys We'll catch you on the next one.